Woo! Woo! <laughs> you know? <laughs> fucking right. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Right. Next match that we got for you is a Wu Tang Spectacular. It is Inspect the Deck against Rest in Peace, Old Dirty Bastard. First thing that we got is from Iggy. I didn't have one artist, and I don't even remember what artist I chose. Uh, Lauren Hill is one of them. I know that. But yeah. uh, I don't have one in it. Does LP, do you got one in here? Or is it just like e Iggy against Presso the whole show? No. She no, got I got Faramanch. Oh, you got Faramanch. And Chuck, who do you got? Nobody? Nope, nothing. Kill it's okay. I usually, don't. Ali. <laughs> okay. I usually don't. I usually don't. You yeah, but you're you're gonna you're gonna dominate point ones from this point on. This is Inspector Deck, Wu Tang Clan. Let me at them. Let's do it right now. Yeah, this is produced by Inspector Deck. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah
Wu Tang as the as the <laughs> artist, so everybody could get a cut of what he was doing. Wow, that's all they do. Um, so he produced yeah. it, and you know he was the only MC he on it. He produced it. He produced it. He produced it. Deck and produced Deck it. produced it. He I figured it was. It. I figured it was RZA for sure. No, that was it. That was a, the first beat he'd ever produced. Holy shit, that's dope. Um, I love it, dude. Uh, I wish there was a little. It was a lot of flex. It was a lot of like uh, lyrical oh, yeah. fitness, yeah. which is Wu Tang kind of classic. It'd be nice if there's a little more. It, since it's a solo track, if there was maybe some kind of theme or storytelling line to go along with it. That would have been nice, not needed, but it would have been nice. It would have been a 10 if it would have had some kind of timeline to the lyrics. But just being that it's a flex track and a fun track, lyrical track, I'm going to give it an 8.9. Ignacio, nice. what do you say? Nice. Well, I was, I was just really surprised on, yes, like you can definitely tell, you know, the beat is raw. The beat is, you know, you can tell when, when you learn that it's his first beat, you're like, oh, I can understand how, like, it might loop here and do you know same sounds here and this and that you know what i mean him that reminds me a microphone fiend okay all right but what i what i liked about it was the energy he brought to the to the track and the lyrics were dope if you really paid attention to what he was saying yes they were flex but he was the wordplay was sick the wordplay was dope um that second verse when he came in for the second verse though he just fucking found a pocket or he was already in a pocket and he just jumped right back into it. And it. I, for for yeah. me, that second verse is, was just like the highlight of, of the track for me. Yeah, it's almost like both verses were done in one take, where he sat and listened to the chorus before he spit the second verse after mm. spitting the first one. Right, right. right he was right. in the zone. He's like, no, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. I'm going to do the yeah. other one, too. Yeah, I'm Let's jumping see, in see right that. now. Yeah, I'm jumping in right now. We're doing that yeah. second verse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. cool. So uh, I'm, I'm going to oh, okay, give, give, uh, give it a 9.365. 9.365, three digits. Chuck, what are you <laughs> Down to the thousandths. <laughs> That's uh, articulate. I'm uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with an eight on this. Um you know the uh you know, I mean at the end of the day it was it was it was flex it was a flex track. Um you know it, it was good, bars were good, wasn't like, you know, <laughs> blow me away flex track, you know. But like it was still pretty good. You know, delivery was nice. Um, you know, the beat was fine. Um, you know, especially with respect to the first track we heard tonight. Um, <laughs> the uh, but um, Killer Priest yeah, is yeah. a legend. It was yeah. uh, it was, it was an eight and a half. Um, you know, so it was it was good. Uh, it wasn't or sorry, eight. Good, but not great, but good enough. Eight. Presto, what are you saying? Yeah, uh, the beat kind of grinded on me a little bit. There was a there was a lot about the beat I liked. I just there was something about like the way you put it together. Yeah, it just like looped a little bit too much. Um, it makes sense that it was his first beat. It's not too bad for his first beat, right? <laughs> um, I really like the feel of it. It, it kind of gave me a little bit more of an old school feel. The way it was kind of bouncy, you know, uh, his uh, flow. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, very interesting track. Thank you for this. This was yeah, this was a uh, definitely a, a cool listen. Right uh, it's at eight eight point seven five for me. And I gotta say that Eminem track we heard did seem like an old school laid back Eminem, which is basically non existent, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and LP, what do you say? Uh, yeah, great pick. Um, <coughs> if you listen to this in the context of all the other songs in this album, it, it hits a little bit more different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, the song itself, I don't, I didn't like the hook, uh, the change in the beat for the hook. That that was a, a drawback for me. But otherwise, I didn't mind it. And yeah, it's pretty dope for his first beat. Mm -hmm. um, really like the flow on this, the way that he right. hits this beat. Really hits this nice. Yeah, that was enjoyable. And um, yeah, nice wordplay. Um, not maybe the most lyrically complex, but really good wordplay throughout this. So, yeah, that's an 8.5. 8.5, 100% 8 want that with 11 votes. Almost all you guys are voting. So, thank you so much yeah. for that. That's Next dope. thing we got, guys, is the Contra, which is Old Dirty Bastard. Brooklyn Zoo. Brooklyn Zoo. Right Ain't no none of them niggas can't fuck. What? You could never fuck me, my nigga. Oh, I'll fuck you up right now. What? 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 Fuck Bust you your motherfucking dirty. ass, boy. I ain't no motherfucking joke. You know who you talk to? Old dirty Jay, bastard. You know what I'm saying? I'll fuck you up right now. Yeah. What? What? Jay, what? Jay, what? That nigga, dirty. Dirty. He ain't 
I'm the one man army they saw I never been tookin' out I keep MCs looking out I drop signs like cross be dropping babies Enough to make a nigga go crazy In the G building taking all types of medicines Your ass thought you were better than a son I keep planets in orbit While I be coming with deeper and more shit Enough to make you break and shake your ass and rock the game Rhyme good as a tasty cake makes This style I mastered in Niggas catching headaches, what, what? You need aspirin? This type of pain you couldn't even kill But might or fuck around, get sprayed with lights or In your face like the can of mace, baby Is this burning with fucking now you're learning how? I don't even like your motherfucking profile Give me my fucking shit, wow I seen and heard, no one knows You forget, niggas be quiet as cat Now you know nothing before you do a whole fucking lot Your ass don't wanna get shot A lot of MCs came to my showdown Then watch me put your fucking ass low down As you can go below zero Without a doubt I never been taken out By a nigga who couldn't figure Yeah, by a nigga who couldn't figure Yeah, by a nigga who couldn't figure How to pull a fucking gun trigger So get the fuck out of here Nigga wanna get too close to the utmost But I got sex that'll attack any whack host Introducing your fuck that nigga's name My hip hop drops on your head like rain And when it rain, it pours Cause my rhyme's hardcore That's why I give you more of the roar Telling that I got more rose out the spot MCs, I'll be burning, burning hot Whoa ho ho, let me like slow up with the flow If I move too quick, oh you just won't know I'm homicidal when you into the target Nigga get up, act like a pig, try to hog shit So I take your ass out quick, the mics I'm had it, my nigga You can suck my dad If you wanna step to my motherfucking rep Blow, 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 blow to death You got shot cause you're knock, knock, knock Who's there? Another motherfucking hard rock Slacking on your back and cause raw's what you lack You wanna react? Bring it on back Same with you, when you stepped up to the old dirty bastard Brooklyn, so Shame on you when you step to to the old dirty bastard Brooklyn, so Brooklyn, so Shame on you when you step to to the old dirty bastard Brooklyn, so Shame on you when you step to to the old dirty bastard Brooklyn, so Shame on you when you step to to the old dirty bastard Brooklyn, so What? My nigga You know, I love it. I love it when artists do something very unique with their voice, like like Fredro and Sticky with the anger, Vinny with the with the rasp, uh, Tech Nine with the metal influence. You know, like the, it's nice when someone does something that no one else is doing, and Old Dirty did that. But as far as going against Inspecta, like he, not even a, not even close, dude. Like I mean, I love Old Dirty, but not even. Not even in the same world for me on a lyrical level, dude. Like, entertainer-wise, Old Dirty crushes him into the ground like a little ant with a fucking six foot eight, 400-pound man. You know, like, it's like, entertainment-wise, compared to Inspecta, Old Dirty takes it. I think Old Dirty would have been better in movies than music, to be honest, because he's such an enigmatic soul, you know? Rest in peace. But as far as a battle goes, since we are comparing them as MCs, Inspecta takes it. And I don't mean to dishonor the dead, but I, it's it's my true belief. Uh, Iggy, what are you saying? I'm gonna give it a uh, I'm gonna give it a nine. I loved it. What are you saying, Iggy? No, this was a cla- this is a classic old dirty track. You know what I mean? You can't hear this no and not get your get your head you know bobbing. What I like about the beat for this because the sound the, the piano sample is repetitive. It is looped in. But what what I like about it and it, where it doesn't get redundant and it doesn't get it doesn't start to get irritating is because the bass lines mm-hmm. in this song mm-hmm. keep the keep the production super interesting because mm-hmm. the the bass lines go, go down to some frequencies where you're like ooh and then they hop, hop back up to some frequencies where you're like ooh you know what i mean so it, mm-hmm. for me that was a be- that that was a great i don't know the the beat that aspect of the beat for me was beautiful 
Um, I agree with you, Will. Like old dirty's delivery, like his his delivery, he's right up for me. He's his delivery, he's right up with like Buster Rhymes as far as energy when they bring to the mic. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But um, but there's some dope word play in there. There's some dope word play in there for sure. Old dirty earth, old dirty can he can spit. He can spit. Um wish we would have spit more. All in all, I'm gonna give this a nine point two five. Nine point two five, check what he said. Oh, this was excellent. Um, so ODB is, I think, this was an, a very good example of how he was really a pioneer of the kind of dynamic cadence and flow switches just like continuously throughout the track. You know, like that is that's something you, that kind of became more of a like modern style that. thing. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, like he, he was one of the early pioneers of that. And, you know, like not, he's, he's often known for some of that kind of, you know, sing song vibrato with his voice, but, um, you know, that's just like a small part of what he did. I mean, like, I can't even count how many times he kind of flipped cadences and flow switches throughout this. Um, you know, it was very dynamic. Um, do you think you know? he even knows what he's doing when he's doing it? Yes. You think it's intentional or yes. just his art being expressed? I, I mean, uh, 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 like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, subconsciously, just exploding like, it. Just, like, I, I just think with him, I think with him, it's like a person who's taught themselves how to play guitar but can't read sheet music. Yes, good call. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, but yeah, and <laughs> so um, that was uh, that was that, 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 that made a really enjoyable listen to. Um, you know, and the, like, just the, the delivery and the way he hit some of those punches were really nice, you know, um, kind of just like, especially there was that, that one bar where he, that one line where he was like, you know, introducing, yo, fuck that guy's name, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, and, uh, so, you know, maybe not as lyrically complex as, uh, the, the deck, but it wasn't bad. And I think with, with an, an MC is more than just a lyricist you know the uh yeah. you know it's very much counts. about it's very much about the delivery um the flow the cadence you know like the the rapping aspect not just the lyrics that they're rapping and you know i think he just this was an excellent illustration of that with odb and so um this this is a nine for me it was great nine, nine. presto what are you saying yeah, so I, I listened to a lot of ODB, just kind of like going through to see if I'd find something that I'd never heard or anything. But to me, this is by far his best song. Um, it's just crazy how he's rapping, he's singing, and he's also like his own hype man on the same track. <laughs> he, yeah. and, and at the same time, it's almost got like a like a freestyle feel to where he's like ad libbing some of it. You know right. what I mean? Um, it just feels fresh. It feels uh, unique. Um, I, I love it. Uh, it's a nine for me. Solid nine. LP, what are you saying? Yeah, absolutely. Nine territory. Um, I really enjoy this beat. There's an R&B song that samples this beat for that song, and I really like that song, too. So I was thinking of both as I was listening to this. Um, yeah, really technical. And, and ODB, he fills the beat if that makes sense as he's rhyming he just he just fills the beat up and just yeah, a lot of technical changes there really enjoyable to listen to yeah uh let's listen to a 16 you guys gotta vote is it odb or is it deck 80 percent say odb there is six votes there's lots of votes out there there's lots of you watching no one is voting it is the time to vote everybody deck 57 57 odb 50 percent deck going back and forth 50 percent deck it's a battle till the end oh my god you have eight bars to decide 50 percent deck 55 percent odb it's going back and forth wow. there's 11 votes now they listen to me thank you for listening to me scream into the microphone <laughs> and get this is exciting 11 votes 55 percent say odb i believe that's how it's gonna stop 55% old dirty bastard nice. is going to the finals, everybody. Let's stuff. hear it for old dirty bastard. 
So far we got Killa Priest and Old Dirty Bastard in the finals, everybody. Next grouping that we got is Presto with MF Doom featuring Mad Lib. Chelsea. Oh my god, it's husband against wife. I didn't realize this. <laughs> That's classic. Chelsea, I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Just joking, Presto. I'm rooting for both of you. It's going to be a great battle. This is MF Doom featuring Mad Lib. Chelsea, Buster Rhymes, Buster Rhymes, Rhymes galore. Let's get into MF 